day, troublesome Templar. I'm on silent and we're on the air with more StarCraft 2 Co-op. It's episode 8, I believe, of Co-op. Thanks for tuning in last time out. Did a little Dark Templar. Today we're just going to do the regular old Templar. The regular old My Life for Ire Templar. Last time that included Vorzun, Matriarch of the Nerezim, and we also did a little Zeratu. This time out, I thought we we're gonna we we're gonna go uh, we're gonna you know stick with a little StarCraft One theme with a couple of SC One characters this time. One, of course, being Artanis, who's the uh, protagonist of the of the. Uh, I mean, it's really introduced. I'm not sure if I'd say protagonist. It might be more more Zeratul of the Protoss campaign in Brood War, but Artanis did play a rather large role in that. And Phoenix. Our boy Phoenix, coming and going from StarCraft. <laughs> and uh, this, and why does Phoenix look like this? Well, it's a story for StarCraft 2. If, you, if you've played it, then you'll know. Legacy of the Void campaign. If you haven't, well, uh, I think you should get it. I like the Legacy campaign, not gonna lie. And some fun characters and some fun moments in there. But, uh, yeah, so I'm, I think we'll start with Phoenix, because I haven't played Phoenix before. So he's the, uh, Executor, of course, Executor Phoenix. Uh, recommended for experienced players. Control Phoenix on the mission with variable combat modes. And call upon legendary Protoss heroes to lead your purifier forces. Okay. I'm not entirely sure what that means. We've got Legionnaires, which are Zealots. Uh, conservators, which are centuries, adepts, which are adepts. Uh, they uh, they were introduced in Legacy of the Void. In, in standard PvP, it's not doesn't shoot air, it just shoots ground. But uh, can be upgraded to use psionic projection, so they can like kind of warp, not warp around the map, but they kind of shade to translucency and kind of and will be able to go around the map. But. Go around the map faster. Okay, Immortals are Immortals. Colossus or Colossus. Disruptor, which we don't get. And we've also got uh, Observers, Scouts, which, eh. <laughs> they can't be any better here than they were in the original. And Carriers! Oh, Carrier has arrived. I don't think that you have to spam the Interceptor button in this, though. I don't think SC2 makes you do that, and Cannon is a Cannon. All right. Any upgrades we gotta worry about? Uh, Phoenix can warp in anywhere on the battlefield using multiple armor suit configurations. Armor suits only regenerate life and energy while not active in the on the field. Oh, interesting. So he's got everything's so all of his suits have uh, and the cost of Phoenix's combat units is reduced by twenty percent. Oh, discount. No, so all of Phoenix's suits have their own like health and energy. So if, ooh, this, if suit A is getting battered, oh, let's just, can we swap to suit B on the fly or suit C on the fly and that, and the other one will regain health while it's out of, out of action? It's a tactical element to how you deploy Phoenix. And I, I don't know how fast, if he's like a probably a four minute deploy because most hero units are, so... I don't know if that's also the timer on the, uh, on the, uh, whatchamacallit, on, on the, um, suits. It unlocks Purifier Conclave Structure 2. Allowing you to research AI personalities of Protoss heroes once research these personalities will automatically download into any available host unit. I have no idea what that means. Arbiter unit, oh, he can be an Arbiter, was he ever an Arbiter? He might have been a scout at one point. No, it was Artanis the scout at one point. Hmm. Anyway, you know what? Let's just go. Let's get started with a little Phoenix action. Now, if it's anything like SC1, Phoenix would definitely... I thought Phoenix might have been a scout at one point. I don't remember being an Arbiter. I know we've met Phoenix as a Zealot, and we've met Phoenix as a Dragoon. Oh, we've got a 13 Stukov for part and parcel. We did this... Either in the last episode or the one before that. No, it was the one before that, because this is the one I had to do solo as, uh, as Stetman. 
at least that one was with a Jim Rayner. That one's relatively straightforward. I, I would not want to try to do this as a Stukov as well as being a Phoenix. I was going to say, the one thing that concerns me, though, is I'm not sure how well a Stukov would go with this. It would just be down to having the timing perfect on the spawning of your units, because you don't really... I mean, other than your factory, infested factory units, Stukov would be tricky on this one just because of the timing of things coming out. Because they're all, I don't want to say disposable units, but kinda. May Raja go like the path to victory. Oh, I forgot to change the announcer pack. Oh, well. The Emperor said that Mobius Corps is using this facility to breed alien terrors. The Dominion must exterminate them at all costs. I'll have to use a mech, the Balius, to get through the hybrid cell shields. Once you collect the parts, I'll get started. So Phoenix, yeah, it looks like he's going to be about four minute. Yeah, because all the, because all the heroics are four minute. Uh, Additional pylons are required. Yeah, should have seen that coming. Because all all the heroic units seem to be like a four minute deploy, so it's kind of like. Get that first gate down. We'll get some more of these out. We'll get the geyser going. Trying to get a bunch of gates out. That way you can get things going relatively quickly. No, no, no. I want. Uh, <laughs> now, he moved the damn thing. Now that ain't gonna work. I thought I clicked one of the probes. I apparently didn't. But we'll get some of the probes out. That's still going. Let's get that second gate down, and then we can build a cyber core right underneath it. Right there. How much was that cyber core, anyway? 150. Okay, because I think it's, what, 150 or 200? I can't remember which. Actually, all these look not discounted. 160, down from 200. 40 and 80, 140. Uh, okay, I guess that's that sounds... Okay. So we gotta get some units out onto the map fast ish. You've insufficient supply. Warp in additional pylons. We uh, will attempt not to artosis things. Let's just get. Your warriors require additional pylons. We can get warp gate going. So we're just going to wait for the pylons to queue in, and then what we're going to do is we're going to have to sit tight and wait for some resources to queue in as well. So one thing is just in the... that I don't like about this map is that... Let's send my dudes, uh... This warrior awakens! Uh... Let's get some. Let's get two more zealots out. That's the. My Praetor armor is ready for use. Your research has completed. Not all battles are won through numbers alone. I guess that was the warp gate. Okay. Uh, this warrior awakens. Forge. Doesn't automatically pop as a warp gate, but your mineral reserves are insufficient. You can you can send these boys out. I assume you're helping me invest in civilians. We can let these guys go ahead, actually. Need two more of those. We could probably use another uh, 
How are we doing? That, that is still finishing up. The Balius is halfway online. Keep it up. those manually i like that it's a, it's a nice little touch i know they updated that with the uh new uh with a patch at some point in the last little bit in sc2 I love how these guys just kind of charge right on by. Ready our defenses. Our foes are on the march. Combat awaits. Forward. We serve with pride. Where shall we Let's get these boys over here. Let's use some of the grunt uh, Oh, no, he's got it. Never mind. Forward. Let none deter us. It shall be done. To glory. Deploying onto the front line. Let's get Phoenix down. Um, not Phoenix down, but... But you know what I mean. <laughs> it's not a Final Fantasy reference, damn it. Um... Well, would you look at that? We have enough pods for launch. Combat systems are up and running. Safety tests still pending, so be patient. I have new intel. Mobius Corps is attempting to evacuate key research material while we're distracted with the hybrid. Find their train and destroy it. That's an order. Just wait for that to warp in. Oh yeah, I gotta pop you guys, don't I? What else do I have access to? Oh, I can spray. Your ally has entered the fray. Stand as one. Let's get a let's get a, uh, the Alexander. I am glad you're out. Not sure if there's much I'm gonna have to do. See, he's got that. I can run ahead. This is General Davis reporting in. The Valius is en route to its target. Your warriors require additional pylons. Man, I gotta. There's something about seeing Mobius trains crash and burn that is just so satisfying. The enemy has taken an interest in our base. I'm hoping you can handle that. Now this is... Okay, this is where we need to go. Cell ruptured. Open fire on the hybrid. Alright, so what we're gonna do is All shall submit. He's just throwing okay, so maybe there is a You know what, maybe there is a merit to to the um Stukov approach. Well except now that he's Except now where he's out of uh out of shit to uh Oh he's got a base there too. How's Phoenix doing? Phoenix is doing okay. Shall be 
Alright, so. Our victory came at a price, Commanders. The Valius is going to need more work. That's fine. There's some parts to scavenge there, but we can... The Valius took significant damage in that encounter. I'm gonna need more parts. Alright, so we're sending a dude that way. Can I get the... Conservator and one of those. Oh yeah. Right, I wanted to... The robo. The firstborn shall persevere. Generates a power field as if it was a pylon. Oh, that's good, because what that'll do... Oh, gee, it's uh, basically guardian Your shield. Has the enemy. Without hesitation. We're going to send my boys off to the right. We share your structure for a time, yes? Um, the hell does that mean? You've insufficient supply. My allies probably got shit. You must construct additional pylons. My allies probably got shit under control. I return to serve. Get that pylon down. These are our two. Not our the law. So we're just waiting to see. See, we're, now we're building up a little force here. And these zealots are just murking everything. Zealots got some punch. Oh, right. I want to upgrade on. We're going to try and pick up some of these parts here as well. Your ally has entered the fray. Stand as what? So the enemy seeks to attack our base. They will regret it. We're going to just... And some of that stuff, you just look at it the wrong way and, and it blows up. Oh, we finally sent someone this way. We've passed the halfway point. The Valius is coming together. So if we could just... Pylon, pylon, pylon. There we go. Your probes are under attack. The enemy is assaulting your nexus point. Are they? Yes, they are. My reports indicate a second train is coming. You have not enough. Your ally has engaged the enemy. Do not let the train through. I was gonna say maybe I could switch to. Um, I could. I require my own damn aid. Just actually, let's kind of cut around that way. Your ally has entered the fray. Stand as one. Get some adepts going. Your ally requires your aid. Yeah, we're doing okay. Don't worry. Charge! Your let's do it. Has engaged the enemy. Infestation does have its strength, you know. This train has nearly escaped. Pay attention. Well, if you were paying attention, General, then you'd see that we've done the job. That's right. We'll stamp out every last one of these traitors. Did she, she say traitors or trainers? Upgrade complete. Make use of this surge in potential. I thought it was a funny pun. The enemy approaches. Prepare for battle. Nice thing is Phoenix is um Phoenix does regenerate uh shields. You are efficient, aren't you? We're set for parts now. 
I'm making the final preparations for the Balius' deployment. Expect to see me out there soon. Okay. He's moving his um yeah, that's 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 a thing. That is a thing that happens. I am the blade of our turns. Your ally has engaged the enemy. Alright, we're doing fine though. He's doing fine, I've got things under control ish. Let's get another I was gonna say, with all these liberators, I'm starting to think like, can I, can I switch Phoenix to, to a dragoon? Hybrid cell identified. The Balius is headed to it. Your ally requires your aid. Your ally has engaged the enemy. My ally's gone the wrong way. Mind you, I've come to the right spot, so we're just waiting on. I mean, I can handle this myself. I don't mind. I get that. I don't need psionic projection. I don't need any of that. How's that coming? We're just waiting on. We're just waiting on Davis to show up. Containment cell down. Focus on the hybrid. There we go. Is that uh, that charge coming in? Enemy forces are moving towards our base. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. I'm gonna get back to paying attention on to this. Just actually, just yet. Yeah, send it straight there. I have met the enemy. Glory. Target down. Now I need to get the Balius back in fighting shape. The enemy defiles your base. Slay them. And they are. I'm afraid the Balius requires additional parts after that fight. The firstborn shall persevere. Your ally requires your aid. Just get that adept going. Those things are a bit beastly, though. Uh, then again, maybe he has that stuff under control. Maybe we'll just... Maybe I'll send my boys over this way. We have half of the Balius parts now. We could probably afford a couple more gates. Uh, we could just intercept you along the way. Your ally requires your aid. So we're okay for the moment. Just charge in. There are a lot of dudes here, though. A lot of flying dudes here. So hopefully... Construction material needs have been met. Your cooperation is appreciated. Evaluating pre-launch diagnostics. This will only take a bit. Stand as one. Speak and you will be heard. Your ally requires your aid. We'll send everyone this way. We'll just find pylons to... Your ally has engaged the enemy. The enemy could destroy it. Get those transformed.
Can we queue up the shield? There we go. It seems our foes intend to attack us directly. Let's say, can I not, uh... There we go. Ready for action. I'm approaching the hybrid's containment cell. It appears we've aggravated the, um... Uh... So hopefully this is enough to wait. Glory to the day long. We're okay. Just waiting on We got the nice things we got the reinforcement line right here. Just let the Balius kind of come through. I've cracked the containment cell. Hybrid target acquired. I think Alexander got stasis there, which is suboptimal. Speaking of things getting put into stasis, my frame rate. But we're used to that when playing with Stukovs and such. We're rid of that alien filth. My commendation, soldiers. I'll send word of your deeds back to the Dominion. Not gonna lie, wasn't sure. Witness the might of the Nerezim. Wasn't sure how Stukov was gonna work on like very specific timing attacks. Like you do in this mission, but it seemed to work quite well. But Stukov's a really good commander if you know what the hell you're doing. GG. That's what I'd like to figure out a bit more about, is I'd like to play more Stukov and just kind of learn my way through him. Almost got to level 3, so we unlocked the... Oh, um, the next one was the Arbiter Suit. And this one was the Purifier Conclave, which lets you download AI personalities into into your available host units. Okay. No, that was, that was, uh, I, I, I like Phoenix. I mean, it's like, yeah, I, obviously, obviously I got my ass kicked, but, um, no, it was interesting. I, you change from the zealot to the, to the, um, to the, to the dragoon suit on the fly, seeing as we needed somebody that can shoot up better. So, um, yeah, it felt like, I don't know about the damage output, but in terms of, in terms of, like, in terms of tankiness, it felt like the Zelts could tank a bit. It felt like they were beefy. They looked beefy. A lot of beef with those, uh, Legionnaire Zealots. So, I, I liked, I like it. I'm not sure I love it as much as some of the other ones I've been playing. Like, I, I liked... I, I kind of liked uh, Zeratul a bit more. I liked Stetman enough to buy him. But, um, not... It's good, not great. That's just from a first impression. Maybe it's one of those ones that you fall in love with the more you use. Speaking of using... Played a bit of Artanis in my day. He's up to level 7, almost level 8. So it's recommended for players of all skills. I, I've... I don't know anymore with the free-to-play, but it used to be that when I bought LOTV, you got, ah, uh, maybe you got, um, maybe you got Carax as well. But you, maybe even Abathur, because I don't remember buying him, but I, I, fairly certain, or no, Abathur was a giveaway. Maybe that's where I got him, and just don't remember. I do remember you got these four to start, but I think now it's just down to these three. At the end, or now that are the ones that are free, but they're available for, or recommend for all skill levels, which is good for me. Strike from high orbit with devastating abilities and warp your enemy, or warp your army instantly into battle. That's 
helpful. So we've got Zealots, and Dragoons, and High Temps, Archons, Immortals, Observers, Phoenix, Reaver. <laughs> as long as we don't have to build Scarabs. I, I think I can, I, maybe I can make use of that. Tempest, sadly we don't have any. This trick is, we might need to go... Yeah, we could probably get away with Dragoons. Just mass, mass dra Dragoon Immortal. Zealot Dragoon Immortal. It sounds like a pretty stout army. Now what upgrades do I have? Uh, our Tense Warps units onto the battlefield almost instantly. Uh, let's see, Guardian Shell. Upon f taking fatal damage, friendly units become invulnerable for a short time, escaping death and restoring 15% uh, uh, life. It shields cannot do the same unit twice in four minutes. All right, so, Warp Gate. Oh, increase the number of charges on the Warp Gate from one to three. Oh, so that means you can spend less on getting the gates up because they could go pop, 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 as opposed to just pop and then wait and pop and wait. Twilight Council upgrades. Uh, Reaver, Templar Archives, Sartan Energy, and Psionic Storm. Oh, also restore 50%. Upgrade the storm to restore 50 shields to friendly units in the target area, which is handy if you're bad with targeting like me. And High Archon unlocks the ability for Archons to use the feedback and Psionic Storm abilities. All right. Let's get going. It sounds like a good, good start. A handy, uh, it's a nice thing is as you play it, you get unlock the new abilities, but the problem is, is you gotta play, play them and probably pass the level 5 mark for the free-to-play players before you really get some of the good units, or good, good abilities. Considering that, and maybe it's because Artanis is kind of available to everyone, it's a little bit longer on the co-op, uh, co-op search. I just find that interesting. Is you th you'd think with some of the newer units, like with Stepman, I thought it would take forever to find a match, and didn't really. Zeratul, I thought it would take forever to find a match, didn't really. But uh, I, I guess it just all all depends sometimes. All right, there we go. We'll uh, just connect in. I'll watch the countdown come in, and we'll see who we've got and where we're going. Dead of Night with Kerrigan. Say, uh, level 3 Kerrigan. Okay, so this was the one where we're going to be building a lot of cannons. I mean, <laughs> uh, this is the one where they, they, uh, kind of, uh, where they, uh, during the day you go destroy the infested structures and at night they're going to come after your bases. Nope. No expos in this one, if memory serves. Which means that you get to, you know, focus all your all your uh, resources on your army, more or less. Of course, the trick is is that you're going to need a shit ton of cannons to keep everything out. This is basically the final mission of Protoss Brood War, only done, well, here. Adun Toridas. Want to change the announcer again? And I forgot. Oh well, it is what it is. All right. This planet is in serious trouble. If this infestation spreads, there won't be any survivors. We need to stop it. It's risky to move at night, but the infested die off during the day. When the sun is up, move out and burn their structures. Yeah, but we gotta we'll put the unit producing structures back a bit. Don't want them on the front line. There's a sensor tower. Now here's the problem, is we gotta be able to... The good thing is, is Kerrigan will be probably up or pretty damn close to up. You can have stuff up by the time. Eh, three gas? Okay, yeah, this is all we're gonna get for... Yeah, this is all we're gonna get at the start, so we gotta... Make judicious use of what we've got. Hopefully the Kerrigan can cover us at the start. Because we're going to need a little bit of time to wind this thing up. Oh, Warp Gate. It just goes straight to Warp Gate. It doesn't, it's not even a case of... It spawns this gateway and then you got to research. 
That is helpful. I wonder if Reavers would be a good idea just because splash damage, splash damage, splash damage, but we'll find out. Try and get things going here. That's going to pop instantly. Does only get one charge? Or can we... I guess we have to uh, warm up some charges first before we can... Uh, get another gate down. Actually, hang on. While you're here, get that forge down. We're going to need it. So, project power field. So, that's good if you want to warp in. Orbital strike. That actually could be handy. I'd start getting ready to deal with the infested if I were you. Orbital strike will be handy. And shield overcharge. Also could be important. Um... Let's get the cyber core out so we can... Get some dragoons out. It's nighttime, commanders. Fight off the infested until daybreak. All right, easier said than done. Fortunately, there are lings out. We can get the queen out. Nope. Your efforts are futile. There we go, there's our girl, Kerrigan. An enemy has to challenge me. You've not enough Vespine gas. I haven't put anyone on gas yet, have I? No, I haven't. This is very smart. You build these assimilators, and you don't make use of them. Get that infested. Back it up a bit. Your ally has engaged the enemy. Get a third gate down. Let me put that one right there. How long is that one? Eighty on that one. Twenty-five, but it, or thirty, but it uses twenty-five energy. There we go. Let's use up all our charges. Get things going. C. B. C. Can we do shield batteries as well? No. Spotters are in the air. Shoot them down before they become a problem. The sun will rise any minute now. Then the infested will burn away. Additional pylons are required. Okay, no problem. Just gonna put another pylon there. Put a pylon here. Put a pylon here. We made it to the dawn. To stop the infestation, we need to destroy enough of it each day. Head to these coordinates to start. You've insufficient supply. Warp in additional pylons. 
We will get there, don't you worry. I've got another sector with structures on my scanners. So we're gonna set that up. We're gonna meanwhile. Your ally has entered the fray. Stand as one. Head this way. Oh, maybe not that way. Maybe up this way. How much is one of those? Detecting more structures at this location. Oh, you're here anyway. Your it looks like we've taken out a good amount of infestation. Just need to keep it up. Uh-oh. I've been foiled by my own, uh... I was gonna say, I've been foiled by my own, uh, mechanic. Meanwhile, back over here. Make the most of the day, Commanders. It's nearly over. Structures here. All right, everybody back here. Back here, real fast. A lot of dead out there. Make sure that we don't join them. Uh oh, I've guarded the wrong place. Yeah, well, that, I'm going to use it. Don't worry. I just got to be able to see where to shoot them. It's yelling at me to... your forces and stun them if they aren't dealt with. Man, those, uh, those dragoons take up a lot of space. Dragoons and pathing issues, can you name a more iconic duo? They're trying to tear down a barricade. I have to s we embrace the glory of battle. Just uh I 
You have not enough minerals. Well. I was gonna say we've got this cannon. So uh oh, yeah, Twilight Council, I might want one of those. Coming to an end soon. How are you doing? We just need to kind of wind up a bit more minerals. We embrace the glory of battle. So we'll just keep you guys over here. Nice thing is we've got. Your ally requires your aid. <laughs> your base is under siege. Do not let this transgression go unpunished. Let's get to work, commanders. We have to burn enough of the infestation today, so that we don't fall behind. Alright, so... Uh, let's warp in some more... Okay, and we'll just regroup that as one. So we'll just kind of move in here with... Oh! Hybrid! How's that upgrade coming? Zelt charge? That sounds good. We're not done yet, commanders. Here's some more structures to burn out. Complete. Make use of this surge in potential. Alright, let's use that upgrade completed to kind of merc things. Let's see, Dragoon attack range? I like it. About half of the infestation has been cleared out. Don't give up. Just move over here. Are we doing that one's looking good? That's kind of done up nice and tight. Sending you the coordinates for more structures. We'll just kind of. Barricade for now is untouched, so that's good. Your ally has engaged the enemy. Just get some bunch of zelts out. Your research has completed. Not all battles are won through numbers alone. As a valid point for Zoom. Your ally has entered the fray. Stand as one. We mm. Let's get the whirlwind going. Could double forge. We're doing okay, I think. Looks like the sun's about to set. Get ready for nightfall. We're just gonna back up a bit. The enemy defiles your face. Slay them. Fortunately, we got some decent range on them cannons. I don't think he's got that uh, the back door kind of. We'll make it through the night. Looks like there's a viral cage among the infested. Might be a good idea to kill it. You can only do that at night. That viral cage will burrow once the sun is up. It may take you more than one night to kill it. So we could just use the uh, cannons to just to kind of barricade that off. Oh, he's gone. He's gone for the viral phage, so I gotta. Your 
Recharge complete. You cannot warp at that location. Your ally requires a barricade is under attack. You just saved me a lot of trouble, Commanders. I was gonna send a crew to exterminate that thing after this mission. Your ally has engaged the enemy. One of our barricades is being hit hard. That's that. Okay, you've got that? Alright. That is slightly out of range for that, so... Okay, you're group three now. So now, hopefully, every, all these guys. It's one of those times where I really wish I had. Uh, this is one of those times where I really wish I had a shield battery to kind of top some of these up, but. We could just. Oh, it's done something to my. Uh... Your ally requires your aid. The enemy defiles your base. Slay. Your ally has engaged the enemy. Your base is under siege. Are you kidding me? Amon wants to attack us now too. Perfect. Your Alright. We gotta take care of these spotter things because they're just making a mess of Don't give up, Commanders. This nightmare is about to end. Your ally has entered the fray. Stand as well. Okay, so we held that one together. Just Your Don't get too bold out there. If our base falls to the infested, this planet will be lost. Your ally requires your aid. Sending you the coordinates for more structures. I send group one that way. So she's so Kerrigan's gone that way, I've gone the other way. I got it under control. Your ally has engaged the, enemy. the infestation is almost gone, but we need to get the rest of it for this to work. We're working on it. Your ally requires your aid. That one's been held together. All right, there we go. Your ally has now we've now we're gonna get going here and start taking down some buildings. Just gotta take these things down. They'll go pretty quick. Your ally your aid. Unfortunately, we gotta go through some Zerg first. We might be able to finish this off during this day. Might be able to finish off this half if she, if Kerrigan could finish off the other ones, we might be fine. Your ally has entered the fray. Seven, yeah, we got this one. We'll finish it during day four. We'll come over here to help finish things off, but I think we're good to go. 
That'll be the last two. And G and G. That's the last of it. The planet saved, Commanders. And we have you to thank. What she said. GG. I just went back to what worked for me. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of cannons. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I kind of like having lots and lots and lots and lots of cannons. Makes things nice and safe. We did level up there, so what did we unlock? We unlocked Warp Harmonization. Enables Warp Gate research to affect Stargates and Robotics facilities. Allows them to warp in units with at any location with pylon power. Okay, I didn't build a Robo or a Stargate. You know, it's like... Reavers, eh. Scouts, eh. Or no, it's Phoenix, which is eh. But I mean, it, it with uh, warp capabilities, eh, it makes it a little more interesting then. It makes it a little more interesting then. Being able to warp in a Reaver where you need it, when you need it. And take a look at that. Units and structures killed. I'm ahead by about 200, which, you know, you kind of expect... Considering all the cannons I had, so I was doing defense and two and a half sides because Kerrigan had uh, was bouncing between the one barrier on the right and the south barrier, the main or this main entrance. Resources gathered, okay, whatever. Infested structures killed. I was just ahead on that, which actually surprises me a little bit. Assimilated resources collected. I've no idea. Uh, there were some bits at the end to get, but I didn't see it any other time uh, ab damage absorbed by shield overcharge I never thought I, I was gonna say did I really think to use of it no damage dealt by spear of dune only works where you can see it and then something like this like the problem with this mission is that it's best used in defense not in an on, not on attack but in defending those barriers and you don't get a lot of vision from the barriers which is maybe if I had knobs it would have that would have worked out better but just something to think of for the next time like, something like that, I remember using on, like, the, uh, the shuttle mission, right? Where you have the shuttles going to the, to the warp portals. And so, just, just spam five shots from the Spear of a Dune on top of those shuttles, or, uh, defending the, uh, defending the research shuttle as well. You know, that is a very good use of the Spear of a Dune shots. And this one, yeah, yeah. But, anyway... Yeah, so that's uh, that's that's mo two more of our co-op commanders down. I guess all that leaves left are two more Protoss, neither of which are SC1 Protoss, they're uh, just SC2 Protoss. Karax, the Phase Smith, and Alarak, another one who I've never played, who is the High Lord of the Taldarim, uh, voiced by John Delancey. I think I mentioned that before. It's uh, wanted to put his voice back on because I like being snarked at by Q. There must be something wrong with me. But yeah, that'll be uh, next time on Co-op. But until then, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. Follow on social media. The social media handle is unsilent on there. And that is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. Don't forget you can check out more StarCraft and StarCraft 2 in the playlist. It's on the screen in the description down below. And more videos anytime on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time.